I, I hate story time. Shut up! Who's a cartoon? <laughs> Baby Bear looked in his own bed, and there was Goldilocks! <gasps> but Goldilocks, she jumped right out the window and escaped, and the bears never saw her again. Hooray! The end. Now, nap time! You must be joking! Uh, is there a problem? A problem? You dare end the tale like that? Uh, Ned, it's Goldilocks. Did you want her to destroy the Death Star? You let Goldilocks escape! Huh? Bears are noble woodland creatures, yet you let their home be invaded by this demon who devoured their porridge, broke their valuable bear chairs, and then you let her run off to loot and pillage again? Hmm. And uh, what ending did you have in mind? The coward Goldilocks doesn't run, but sees the error of her ways and swears fealty to the bears. They accept, and she spends the next 50 years washing their feet. I believe we have a foot basin for you in the back. And child slave. Okay, no. Goldilocks is not washing feet. Noble bears have very dirty feet. Doesn't matter. That's not how the story ends. I don't understand. Surely you agree that Goldilocks must be punished. Nope. Goldilocks outwits them, gets away, hightails it for future forest adventures. The end. Then, in tradition of Bushido code, the bears have no choice but to chase Goldilocks down and brutally punish her theft by chopping her fingers off one by one. By one. Okay, you know what? This is over right now because the bears have declared a truce. Nap time, everyone! Well, that's anticlimactic. I'm not leaving until someone loses a digit. You know, I thought in Japan they taught women to obey their men. Ah, that's it! Nobody touches Goldilocks! Then you leave me no choice but to declare war. Shit! Ow! Oh, for nothing could stop the bears from claiming vengeance. Except, of course, Goldilocks and her, uh, uh, a gypsy, uh, forest magic? Ha! Made up magic couldn't stop the bears' deadly ninjutsu death strike! Too bad they didn't realize that Goldilocks had summoned her protective spirit tiger. Wait! Actually, hold on. Wait. I've got a better thought. Couldn't Goldilocks just, you know, say I'm sorry and clean up the mess she made? Huh. I guess that works. Sort of an eye for an eye thing. All right, fair enough. The end. Now, Goldilocks, clean up your mess. I, I hate story time.